Very nice to stay here guys, VST, welcome to this video. Today I want to show you a lot, a lot of updates for Samsung stock apps, which is indicating that one year eight stable is, I really, really hope, imminent. So, we have a new version for Samsung Clock. What is new? Improved and stabilized some features. You know, Samsung and their change locks, yes, they never change. Sometimes they will provide the full information, but most of the times it's just like that. But there is a new version from the 10th of September. And today it's, by the way, the 11th. So this one is from yesterday, 12.5.0713, and it's 35 megabytes. And again, we'll never know what it is until we test it. But then also Samsung Wallet. All right, some nice description. The version is from the 9th of September, 6.2.36. It's 300 megabytes. I don't use Samsung Wallet, I use Google Wallet, but if you're using Samsung Wallet, yeah, they are gearing for the final one UI stable update. Then we have some interesting system updates on the TTS, like text to speech and etc. All right, again, a version from the 10th of September, 3.2.25.11, 170 megabytes. And then, guys, I think this is very important. Samsung on um, device resources, okay, for Polish language or English, it really depends on what you have on your phone. Samsung on device resource for English. And again, it is very, very recent from yesterday. Version is 3.0.065 from the 10th of September, 200 megabytes, all right? So this is very, very important, I guess, because it really means that Samsung are pushing updates to their system, to their core apps, which I really hope is an indication that they're gearing up to release the One Year 8 stable for the S25 series, which they actually promised them, Samsung Language Core, which is also very important for all the AI features that are powered within Samsung application. Okay, with Samsung Language Core, you can enhance your writing, you know, get some insights, receive smart, constant, aware reply suggestions. So this is used for like on a device AI protein. Again, the version is from yesterday. And this one has a whooping size of 3,200 megabytes almost. The version is 3.008, all right? So this is important. Samsung Vision model as well. All right, this is a model that is used for generative AI, which we know is a strong thing in Samsung phones and One UI. Again, a version from the 9th of September with a whooping size of two gigabytes. All right, so this is really huge. And then we have, again, the Polish language pack and the English Polish. It really depends on what you want to translate. But then, guys, some updates to well-known good luck modules like the PenUp. Okay, the PenUp version is now indicated as 3.921.14 from the 5th of September, 130 megabytes. And yes, there is change log. One year eight, <laughs> I just love that one, guys. Just listen, one year eight has been applied, all right? But oh, okay, they also added a new brush as a drawing tool. But then also Wonderland. And believe it or not, I read this before, sounds like a good update. Because they claim now with version 1.616, which is from, um, well, let's check the date, uh, 8th of September, they now claim to have improved battery efficiency when using dynamic wallpapers. And some of the other previous updates I already covered in my videos. So this one I will for sure update. I will anyway update everything. And very, very important, perhaps the best good luck model out there. The home map now gets a new version, 17.0.0040. This version has been released a few days ago and it's almost 30 megabytes. And yes, it does have a change lock. Now they support devices with One UI 8 and above. They also added tablet device support, which hopefully means that some of these Samsung tablets already are going to get the One UI 8 better. And then also when creating a desktop workspace on tablets, the task changer layout is fixed to the default type to maintain task switching usability, which is handy, I guess, if you have a tablet. And of course, other bug fixes and stability improvements. All the other features, guys, I already shown on my channel. So what I'm gonna do right now, guys, I'm going to update everything, which is gonna take tons of data. And I think this is gonna be the end of this video. There is nothing really new in terms of uh, features or let's say so fancy that I can show it, but just the sheer size of some of those updates related to AI and Gen AI that are like, hundreds, thousands of megabytes indicates hopefully that Samsung are going to release One UI 8 stable 
for the S25 Ultra, which I really can't wait to get my hands on. I've been testing probably more than like dozens of updates, stable, betas, internal ones, and, uh, you name it, right? I just want to have the real thing so that I'm able to also reevaluate the camera department. If they did their anything. We already know about the animations. They're really getting better in terms of fluidity, in terms of consistency and stuff like this, guys. So if you want to stay up to date with all the latest, the One UI 8 and Samsung news and the whole smartphone scene, which I try to cover, with the phones that I buy, yeah, you know what to do. Stay safe, guys. VST over and bye. Thank you.